Hey, what is up guys? Mike Locke here. Thanks for tuning into this video blog. Now, I get a lot of questions about content management system. This is a common um, thing that web designers have to deal with. You constantly get clients um, that you're doing websites for. They want to uh, maintain their content. They want to update their website, etc. You know, so I get a lot of questions of people asking me about this and I've dealt with this problem a lot throughout my career. Now, there's a lot of ways about going about this and a lot of people ask me about what do I think of Joomla, Drupal, um, WordPress, um, all these sort of uh, all, all these different frameworks as a content management system. First off let me just say this uh, for Joomla and Drupal for anyone asking me questions about those two products I'm sorry to say I have no experience in those products I've heard about them I've seen them I never touched them um, because they just seem too complicated so I don't really uh, bother with those two frameworks. WordPress, I have updated. A, I am I'm I'm skilled at updating and editing WordPress themes and creating a, a CMS out of WordPress. But I do not recommend using WordPress as a content management system. Now, I did a video a while back showing you how to <laughs> how to use WordPress as a CMS system. Now, when I created this video, I was just um, creating it just to create new content but when I started to use it myself later on there's a lot of issues with using WordPress as a content management systems especially for clients now for blogging I love it for that for those type of things but for uh, having you know setting it up for a, a, a client a small business and having them update the site there's a lot of formatting issues and it's just too clunky I don't like it so don't use WordPress the two the two solutions that I always recommend folks is, um, well there's, there's three different things. First off, I, I would say this, if you're starting out in web design and, and clients are asking you about um, content management systems, I would say, um, I, I, would, I would try to get them away from thinking about a content management system to begin with. Let them start off with a simple site, you know, and then maybe recommend updating it for free and I guarantee you a lot of small business owners don't have enough content to actually own a content management system where they want to change so they might be changing it um, you know they're not gonna be changing it frequently so that's what my first thing was do so I always try to tell people don't uh, when, when clients ask me about that you know I tell them it's very clunky I mean it's very uh, extensive so it's gonna cost you a little bit more to do a a, 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 a nice content management system and they end up not going with that so if I can go that route I don't I don't really do a content management system I'll just build a simple site now um, if they do want to if, if you do need a content management system and this is something a clients have been asking you about the two that I recommend one is the the website that I've reckon I've recommended before on the video it's called perch p-e-r-c-h the website is called grab a perch grab a perch Dot com and you can go there and what this is it's a very simple light CMS system and what this does you can build a simple static website and what you do is you create content so or you have content portions like let's say you create a paragraph what you do is you add a div tag around that paragraph and that's the portion of, of the site that uh, the client will be able to update so if you have an image you can put a div tag around that image and then in perch you know the client can go in and they can see all the different areas that they can update and then they can update it that way so perch is a very light content management system that you can apply onto a static simple website so go that route go look at grab a perch go to their website and download a free trial or try it you know install it on your server and see how it works you'll love it the other option is a website called radium3.com uh, is a company out of Oklahoma I believe and they have a hosted solution basically what you do is you pay for um, a monthly fee and you host your website on their server and what what they give you is a full-on feature set uh, content management system website so you can actually um, offer this to your client offer to redesign obviously they give you a starting off they give you template basic templates but basically you as a web designer uh, I would say use that website as, as a, a, another option 
to give to clients and what you do is you just charge your clients for redesigning on the Radium 3 uh, template base. And what Radium 3 gives you, it gives you basically everything. It's a full-on uh, content management system. They give you so many different things like calendars, blogging, uh, video, images, all that type of stuff. So any client that asks you that, hey, you know, and they give you shopping cart stuff. So any client that asks you that, you know, I need, I need a site where I need to need this, I need that, I need to be able to manage images and create a gallery, create videos and all that stuff, and I need to do it on my own, go to Radium 3 and I'll just, uh, I'll post a link at the bottom of the video so you can actually uh, get to that site and check it out for yourself. So those are the options that I, I believe are the best options for content management systems. Again, I don't have experience in Joomla, I mean uh, Drupal or Joomla and uh, I don't recommend using WordPress as a content management system. It's just too clunky for that. Um, it's great for blogging purposes but not for a content management system. So that's my advice. I'm sure uh, there's more uh, people might have a different, other designers might have a different opinion about what content management system to use but in my case that's, um, that's my opinion. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, I think that's it. So, for content management system, you know, check out grabaperch.com, and uh, that's a very light, I think, a lightweight um, content management system that you can apply to a static website. Or check out radium3.com. All right. So those are the those are the two um, that I recommend, and uh, start there and see where you go. All right. So, and again. So one of the things, obviously, for those who are starting out in web design, don't get too caught up in, in in CMS systems. Focus on 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 the main the main key points of of what a web designer does. You know, you want you your your job should be designing a website that helps sell the products or services of that small business. You know, that should be your main bread and butter, and that's what I like to focus on. So over the years, I've always focused on that, creating a clean interface and learning about internet marketing and the, the content management system stuff. I kind of just think of that as secondary. You know, as your job as a web designer is focus on, 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 on what matters most, is designing a clean, beautiful website that helps build you know, brand awareness, increase customer service uh, or customer relationships and help increase sales on that business okay that's your focus so that's you know if you get anything out of this video yes content management systems are nice if you need to um, you know look look at those routes but again focus on the things that matters most and uh, you know you'll you'll get far just uh, focusing on those things all right so that was my two cents uh, hopefully you learned a little bit from that hit me up any questions if you uh, if you have any all right thanks for watching and we'll talk soon bye